with my experience doing more rendezvous than anybody in space, and my role was as the head of the astronaut group. I was chosen to be commander of Apollo for the Apollo Soyuz. And my two crewmates were Lance Brand and Deke Slayton. The Apollo program has taught us about flying in space and how you have to be on your toes all the time. It also reminded us that the descent from the peak maybe is more dangerous than the ascent. And the landing at the last minutes of the last Apollo flight came as close as any mission ever came to killing the crew. We knew the procedures pretty well. Uh, I advanced fly the reentry and I was center seat, Deke was right seat. Everything went fine, we separated the service module. Got in the right attitude. Stand by. As we started getting the fireballs, we had an electrical short in our comm system. You hear this loud squeal. Passing 95,000 feet. And I was going through the checklist, yelling as loud as I could. And approaching cutoff. And because of that loud squeal and yelling, I missed one switch. So at 80,000 feet, there is a switch that needs to be thrown. Stafford is supposed to make the call as the commander, but he doesn't remember making it because this thing was squealing in his head, and certainly Brand never heard him if he did, so that switch didn't get thrown. This is a critical problem. <laughs> the spacecraft begins to descend. The first stage parachute, the drogue, comes out and, and opens, and various things start to fly off, and the main parachutes get ready to open. Stand by. Well, what happens then? The Apollo, it starts to swing. The guidance system on the Apollo says, hey, I'm moving, reaction control rockets fire to stop this. Boom, we hit the lee side of a big wave like that. It was a real cruncher. <laughs> Clipped over and boom, a negative. About a negative, I'd say five or six years. Tom Stafford had the presence of mind to manually fire the main chutes. Had it not happened, the whole world watching on television, expecting the end of the last Apollo mission after this international project would have seen them go right into the water at about 400 miles an hour. <laughs>